Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from my Let's Play Minecraft survival world in this very special episode 50 Grand Tour. In this episode, we are going to be going through my Minecraft world, which is otherwise known as Rentopia, from top to freaking bottom. So if you're an old school subscriber, sit back and relax. We are about to go down a trip down memory freaking lane. And if you are new from somewhere on the interbubs, this is a perfect opportunity for you to catch up with everything that we have built in this survival series so far. So guys, I hope you have your tasty ass beverage and some crunchy ass snacks. Let's go on a freaking sweet ass grand tour of Rentopia. And speaking of tasty beverages, people, I got a cup of warm coffee up in my jazz. Give me, give me one second. Mm. Oh, damn, caffeine straight to the veins. That is what I'm talking about, people. I need this freaking cup of coffee because we have got so much to see in this world tour, guys. We have been playing uh, Minecraft for two and a half seasons now, and we've managed to build a butt ton of jazz. So I hope you guys are ready for an epic freaking tour episode. Keep your paws and your legs inside the vehicle at all times. And uh, guys, we are starting right here in the farmlands. This is the place where we feed the population of Rentopia. We've got freaking sugar cane, we've got reeds, we've got wheat, we've got taters, we've got carrots. We've got everything that we need here to keep the population of this place uh, going. And as you can see, guys, we also have melons. We also have pumpkins. And just behind the farmlands, we have a grove that I think you can see over here where we grow all of the wood and all of the trees that we need to build the awesome jazz that we build in this series. But guys, this is the farmlands. This is uh, where we grow everything that we need. Here are some taters, here are some carrots. We've got our sheep over here for their wool. We've got a whole bunch of cows over here. Just in, need, just in case we need to stake, uh, stake a fire, just in case we need freaking meat up in our jazz. We've also got some pigs over here just in case we're feeling like pork chops. And uh, we also have a little section over here for some horses, which we have just recently discovered. Now guys, before I carry on on this tour, I want to introduce you to some of my very important and very special friends in this Minecraft survival tour. And they are of course, my weapons and my tools. Please say hello to Terra the Diamond Pickaxe, who has Efficiency 4 and Unbreaking 3. Paul, the diamond spade or shovel who has unbreaking three. Fang, the diamond sword who has sharpness three and fire aspect one. Rambo, the bow that has power three and infinity one. And uh, that is all. <laughs> we still need to name our diamond axe, but these are my four favorite tools and weapons in my Minecraft survival world and I absolutely love them. We've managed to actually hang on to them for quite a long time and we have not yet lost them which is epic. I also have a set of diamond armor called Armor of the Dog which you guys will see uh, a little bit later on this tour. But guys we have just come to the very end of the farmlands over here. This is the animal section of the farmlands and this takes us directly into our stables which is a, a, a part of our world that we're still working on. We have managed to build one or two complete stables so far uh, in season three and this right over here guys is our horse and his name is Atreyu and as you can see he is freaking pimp and uh, currently he is adorning uh, some gold horse armor and looking like a freaking pimp man look at him he, he means business. Unfortunately, um, <laughs> even though he looks like he is freaking hardcore, he is actually a terrible horse. His stats are awful. He is very slow. He can't actually jump very high. So even though he looks the business, he is a bit of a dud when it comes to the <laughs> when it comes to horses that we can get in Minecraft. But hopefully we're going to be able to get some more pimping ass horses. We already got one more horse over here. Uh, we have not yet tamed his ass. So he is still a wild horse. But that, guys, is the stables, uh, that is the farmlands, that is the animal pens that keep the population of Rentopia ticking over. And talking about populations, I want to introduce to you a few of the characters that live in my Minecraft world. 
first and foremost for you new subscribers you guys who are new to the Ren Dog channel this right over here is known as the mole hole castle and this is the very first castle the very first structure in fact that I built in this Minecraft survival series and uh, man it is so freaking sweet I absolutely love the mole hole and uh, we're gonna be going into the mole hole uh, later on in on this world tour to have a look at exactly what the jazz we have built inside of this epic castle over here but before we get into the mole hole itself guys I want to welcome you to uh, the the one of the my favorite builds of my entire series and this is called Beatrice's quarters this is the butler's quarters now a grand freaking castle like that does require uh, the services of a butler because you know there's a lot of rooms to clean there's a lot of freaking surfaces to keep clean and this right over here my friends is Beatrice the butler and she was actually spawned uh, by curing a villager that we managed to to isolate inside of our mob spawner which you guys will be seeing a little bit later and we managed to cure her ass and she probably against her will became the butler of the mole hole castle and she resides in these quarters over here this is her house and uh, i will admit that i have spent many many nights up in this place um and no it's not what you think okay she is my butler uh she is an employee and uh, we don't we don't uh, get busy getting busy if you know what i'm saying people um i just spend a little bit of time here whenever um the, the sun goes down and i'm too far away from my bedroom this is where I like to, you know, it's, my, it's, it's like a second place to sleep. And she doesn't mind. She's got three freaking beds. You know, I sleep all the way to the left and she sleeps all the way to the right. And there ain't no funny business going on. But uh, <laughs> this is the butler's quarters and Beatrice is my butler. And here, this iron golem over here, his name is Greg. He does not have a brain, but he knows that he has to protect Beatrice and he has to protect the mole hole from the zombie infestations that occur um, pretty much on a nightly basis around here because we are playing on hard mode um, in this Minecraft series. But guys, I want to take you to the next part of our tour and the next part of our tour is known as Mole City. Now, Mole City is probably the grandest <laughs> the grandest idea that i have in this minecraft series it is by far the the biggest project that i've set for myself and it's probably going to take me f five or six seasons to complete but basically what i'm doing over here guys is building a city from scratch and as you can see i've already laid down most of the roads of mole city the, basically the foundation roads right we've got the main roads that head into the center over here around this center central monument that we're going to be talking about in a, in a moment underneath mole city is a sewerage network which i'm going to be showing you guys in a moment also and we also have some automatic redstone street lamps that actually turn on when the sun goes down and those are absolutely awesome but guys one of the very first uh, buildings that i added to mole city is the blacksmith's workshop and this over here guys is where we've got some furnaces we've got a crafting table we also have an automatic cobblestone generating machine over here just in case uh, we need to get our hands on some quick cobblestone uh, and what better place to have a cobblestone machine than in a blacksmith's workshop which is where we are over here and of course our blacksmith is known as griswold and this is what this butthole looks like now i've got to tell you new subscribers or you guys who are new to the channel Griswold has his eyeballs on my butler. He's been eyeballing Beatrice through his windows. Um, I've, I've separated them. I'm, I'm keeping them freaking separate because I don't want no funny business going on over here, man. Both of these employees need to do work. This is a freaking blacksmith. He needs to be blacksmithing and not worrying about getting busy, getting busy. And Beatrice is a, a butler and she needs to keep my mole hole clean. Um, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but guys... Griswold is an NPC that we managed to get over here all the way from a place called Dogtown, which is an NPC village you guys are going to be seeing a little bit later on this tour. And we got him into a minecart and got him all the way from that NPC village into Mole City. And he's, t he's taken quite a liking to his new premises over here. And he's quite happy. I pay him well. He also has his own iron golem to protect him. Um, and there's another iron golem wandering around out here also, which protects his freaking butthole uh, from zombie invasions. And uh, that is the blacksmith's 
workshop and <laughs> Griswold's apartment over here, guys. And there is another apartment up here. This was one of the, the last things that, that I built at the end of season two, this apartment block, which I think looks really freaking awesome. So, so proud of, uh, of this build. But guys, one of the, the more recent additions to Mole City is what you see over here. And this rather weird and wonderful structure is known as the Mushroom Shrine. And <laughs> this shrine was built in dedication to the Mushroom Big Mac that you see over here. This is Big Mac the Mushroom. And we managed to get Big Mac all the way back from a mushroom biome using a lead. Uh, we traveled, I don't know, I don't even know how far. We must have traveled three or 4,000 blocks via the nether uh, to find a Mushroom Shrine. And using a lead, we dragged this freaking cow all the way back to the Mole City, to Rentopia. And after such an epic adventure, I couldn't you know, I had to build him something awesome. So Big Mac the Mushroom has his own shrine dedicated to him in Mole City. And as you can see, it is pretty freaking sweet up in here, man. It is looking awesome. Well, guys, let's move on to the next part of the Mole City tour, which is currently where we're at in this grand mole hold or this grand tour of Rentopia. And right over here, guys, is our most recent build in this Minecraft series. And this build is called Mama Dog's Greenhouse. And this is essentially a structure that keeps all of the flowers that I have found in Minecraft. Uh, and, you know, when Minecraft 1.7 came out, a whole bunch of new flowers were added into the game. So I went on on a mission to find those flowers and then I thought to myself you know I need somewhere awesome to keep those flowers and what better place to keep flowers than in a greenhouse and this greenhouse is inspired by my mum who is a, a huge lover of nature and who has a greenhouse herself on her farm and I built this structure in, dedica in uh, dedicated to my mama uh, who is an absolutely amazing person and who has done so much for me in my life and as you can see guys it is absolutely freaking pimping what we've got in here is all of the flowers well i think it's all of the flowers i think it's most of the flowers we can find in in uh, in minecraft running along the top and running along the bottom uh, and the way that we walk through the greenhouse is on some lily pads that are floating above some some glowstone and it is just absolutely awesome i really really love this build this is called Mama Dog's Greenhouse, and uh, it, yeah, essentially it is a greenhouse, and uh, it is it is freaking sweet. Now, you, a, a ton of you guys who are new to the series might have asked, what is that golden jazz behind you? Uh, what is that weird structure made out of dirt and gold over there? Well, for you older cyber dogs, you will know exactly what this is, and for you newer cyber dogs, this is known as the Granny Dog Monument. And basically this is a monument that I am building in dedication to my late grandmother who passed away while I was uh, in the middle of season two um, of this Minecraft series. And it was a, a difficult time for me and because, because um, I was very far away from her. I actually live in England, but she uh, I, I'm originally from South Africa for, for you new what, uh, viewers. And she passed away in South Africa and I couldn't get there in time to see her. And it was a it was a tough time for me. So what I did was I decided to build a monument in her honor. And uh, it is going to be completely made out of gold. So all of the dirt blocks that you see uh, in, in this design currently are all eventually going to become gold. And what I try and do whenever I find gold, uh, I try and make gold blocks and add one more block to the monument. And this monument is a representation in many ways of my recovery uh, from the, the loss of my grandmother, slowly but surely building up the monument, building up the staircases of my life. You can see there are staircases going up, up here. And we are all climbing staircases constantly on, in our lives. You know, uh, and this is a representation of that healing process. Uh, to me, climbing a staircase is a... a a very good way to represent your own healing and it's actually some advice that my grandmother uh, gave me before she passed many years ago and I, I built this sort of staircase monument in her honor and uh, that is known as the granny dog monument and slowly but surely it is being built up as we find more gold we are adding more gold to this monument and it is absolutely epic now guys we have come to uh, the the next part of the mole city tour and this is a rather ominous part of the tour so um let's hope that there aren't there aren't going to be any nasty surprises waiting for us but i'm gonna take you guys down into the sewers of mole city any respectable city uh, on the planet or even in a minecraft world um in you know requires a sewerage network to drain all of the freaking waste that are coming from the occupants of the city and this right over here guys 
is known as the Mole City Sewerage Network. And you know, what you can see uh, is basically a sewer network over here that is running underneath the city. And it is, it is looking really, really awesome. Still a bit of work to do under here, but the eventual plan is to, to make sure that every building in the city is somehow connected to the sewerage networks so that you could actually get into the sewerage networks and get in and out of the various buildings of Mole City. Uh, if you wanted to. And if we come out here onto this frozen lake, we can see the sewerage network running underneath Mall City. We can see the Granny Dog Monument in the distance there, uh, the greenhouse over there also. So that is absolutely awesome. I love this freaking sewerage network, man. It is epic. Um, but guys, um, there is still a butt ton of work to do on the sewerage network, however. Uh, even though it is looking pretty awesome, I still need to complete one of the, the pipes over here. I need to get the whole place lit up properly using these redstone um, torches. Um, but <laughs> this sewerage network runs out into this uh, very infected pond over here where uh, we, we sometimes come to catch uh, infected sewerage sea bass. Um, but yeah, they, they aren't very tasty and they're, they're kind of dangerous also. There's a freaking spider that wants to rumble up in here. Eat! Bang! You bastard! Bam! <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. Well, that is the sewerage network of Mole City. And that basically completes this part of the tour, this part of the Mole City tour. Uh, and, you know, what we're going to be doing, guys, is building up a whole bunch of more buildings in the city. And this city is actually divided into four districts. We've got the Mole Hall District over there. We've got the Lakeside Villa District over there, which you're going to see a little bit later in this tour. Right over here, we have the Nether District because it's next to the Nether Portal Temple over here. Um, and also right at the end over there where, where Mama Dog's Greenhouse is we've got the Viking district. So there is a butt ton of work still to do around Mall City, uh, but it is going to be it is going to be an amazing build once it's done, and it's going to take me forever to do. But uh, I, you know, it's my favorite project in Minecraft, and probably my favorite project in any game. Absolutely loving this project. Now, guys, next up on our tour is to get ourselves into the mole hole itself. Now, instead of just going into the mole hole via the front door, we are going to be going into the mole hole via a secret passageway that is going to lead to the bottom of the mole hole. But guys, uh, before we get on to that next leg of the journey, I'm going to take a sleep in Griswold's bed to sleep this night away. And uh, once I've managed to sleep, we will carry on on our grand tour on the other side of this kaplooey. Kaplooey! Welcome back, cyber dogs and citizens of the interbubs. And the next part of our grand tour has begun. Man, this is like a three-day tour, man. This is this is crazy. <laughs> right, so so one of my goals, guys, was to always have like secret passages and secret entrances in my molehole castle. You know, because a lot of ancient castles have lots of secret entrances behind bookshelves and stuff like that. And I wanted to emulate that because I think that's really awesome. So what I decided to do was to connect Mama dog's greenhouse to the mole hole via a secret passageway and to use some redstone mechanics to do that but before i show you that guys i'm gonna have a sip of coffee mm. oh man <clears throat> delicious. So what I decided to do guys was to create a secret entrance underneath the fountain of Mama Dog's greenhouse. If you didn't know that this entrance was here, you would not know that there is a secret entrance over here. But the more astute of you might have noticed that there is a pressure plate right over there. And if we stand on that pressure plate, we are going to be shoved into a secret entrance that is going to take us all the way to the mole hole. So we're going to follow this secret passageway, which was used millennia ago in an invasion of the mole hole, uh, but which is now a secret connection from Mole City to Rentopia, just in case uh, it's, it's required. And as you can see, we have a cobblestone pathway leading all the way from the secret entrance underneath the fountain of, gr of Mama Dog's greenhouse all the way to the mole hole. And where we are going to pop out is directly underneath what is known as the life tree which is going to be the next stop of this grand world tour uh, and all we have to do guys is follow this cobblestone road to get there and when we climb this ladder we can already see the foundations of what is known as the life tree and once more we find uh, find ourselves in front of a pressure plate or not a pressure plate a button and this button is going to shove us directly into the molehole via a secret passage Kaplam! 
Welcome cyber dogs and citizens of the internet to the Mole Hole Castle. And as you can see, it is a secret passageway that has brought us in here and we cannot get back into that passageway. And this right here, guys, is the very first floor of my Mole Hole Castle. And before we actually explore the various rooms of this floor, I want to introduce you to a few more of my friends in Minecraft. And these are my dogs. We've got Nugget. We have got Rorschach. We have got Jock the Second. Um, unfortunately, Jock the Second's dad, who was Jock the First, perished. And, <laughs> and we also have a Fido over here. This is our cyber dog pack. We have got four very happy, very awesome dogs that every now and then we take on a run. But usually when we take our dogs for a run, um, they, they often die. <laughs> um, so I don't think we're going to be taking any of our dogs on a, on a walk today. Although, you know what? I think um, we might as well take one of them with us, right? Fido! You can come you can come and join us for for this grand tour um just don't you know what no actually we're going into the nether portal temple uh we have actually lost one dog in the nether portal temple already so you know what fido you aren't coming on this tour as much as I, i'd like to bring you along you are not coming on this tour and uh speaking of nether portals we have a very awesome construction over here guys that i want to show you and this is probably if not my second favorite, uh, well, I would say this is probably my favorite build in my series uh, so far. Just because it turned out so freaking well and it was also heavily influenced by my viewers and my subscribers who really helped uh, with the design and with the ideas that constructed this design over here. And this stru structure over here is known as the Nether Portal Temple. And when we first set up our very first Nether Portal, what I wanted to do was build a temple in dedication to what what is basically going to open up a brand new world of Minecraft to me. I'd never been to the nether before and what I wanted was to create a structure that would show the epicness of the nether. Of course what the nether gives you is fast travel uh, through the overworld. It gives you so much epic jazz and I wanted to build a structure that would honor the awesomeness of the nether and this guys is known as the nether portal temple and we have four nether portals that take us to our nether world um, and unfortunately, uh, we, we, I can't show you what's going on in the netherworld because we kind of lost our old netherworld when we did um, a migration of our old 1.3 uh, Minecraft world into 1.7. Basically, I started the series in Minecraft 1.3 and very recently I used MC Edit to trans... Uh, to transpose or to migrate our 1.3 world into a 1.7 world and as a result we did lose our, our nether um, our old nether world but that is no problem we didn't really have much in that old nether world we had a gold nugget farm that was kind of cool but that was basically it but let's move on guys to the next part of this grand world tour of rentopia and i want to show you guys the storage rooms and this is where i keep all of my epic loots all of the jazz that i collect in the series we've got ores we've got materials we've got tools we've got loots we've got armor we've got utilities we've got bling bling like diamonds and whatnot we've got organics and food and fruit this is where we keep everything uh in in this minecraft world i think we're going to have to think about expanding these storage rooms also because we're starting to be able to collect a whole bunch more stuff but that is basically what we've got on the first floor um of of the the, the mole hole castle which you see over here guys so why don't we pop up the stairs to the second floor and I can show you guys all of the sweet stuff that we have on the second floor of the Molehole Castle. Starting with the furnace rooms. And right here, guys, you can see a plethora of furnaces where we do a butt ton of smelting. This is where we smelt down all of our ores, bake all of our sweet ass taters. We've got our anvil over here where we repair and name all the, of the tools that we have in our inventory. And this is basically the engine room of the Molehole Castle. And man, I absolutely love the furnace room. It's been with us for a very very long time and now guys i want to show you one of my another one of my favorite builds in my world and this is known as the wizard's tower i've also brought along with us leggings of the dog which makes up part of my uh my diamond armor set of the dog and we are going to be enchanting these le uh, these leggings we've got 30 levels and i thought you know what in this world tour episode episode i want to enchant these leggings of the dog and then our entire diamond armor set will be enchanted and named and it's going to be freaking sweet so guys let me take you into the wizard's tower this is the wizard's tower made completely of glass we can see it in all directions of rentopia which is absolutely awesome and in the center is a giant uh 
basically room of library books and obviously these library books are here to give our enchanting table maximum enchantment enchantment power and uh, let's use that maximum power now to enchant leggings of the dog I'm going to put the, the, do, the, the leggings of the dog into the enchantment table seven times because I believe that that uh, gives you the best luck. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and let's hope we get something awesome. Compliant. Okay, uh, leggings of the dog are now enchanted. Let's see what we got. Oh, please be awesome. Please be awesome. Compliant. Fire protection four. My goodness, that is that is pretty awesome. Uh, we do have a butt ton of fire protection now on our armor set of the dog, which is really awesome. And guys, I'm gonna show you that armor set right now. Let's head to the next part of this world tour, which is my bedroom and one another one of my favorite parts of my castle. I, I keep saying that about every room, but I do truly love every single room uh, in my castle, man. <laughs> but before we head into my bedroom, guys, there is actually one. One more place that I want to show you and behind this painting is a secret entrance that takes us into a rather ominous part of the mole hole and this is known as the witch's cave. This is one of the builds that I still need to complete and this is eventually going to become a very moist very soggy witch's cave and here is where we keep our brewing stand and all of the materials and all of the potions and stuff that we we can use uh, with our brewing stand. We, we haven't really got into making potions and stuff yet in this series so um, we haven't done much work on the witch's cave but this witch's cave is going to become uh, a really really secret and rather moist and rather precarious part of the mole hole um, <laughs> and that's why it's sort of hidden that's why it has this sort of hidden entrance over there but guys let's head up into my bedroom now this is where uh, I get busy getting busy. <laughs> um, this is my bedroom over here, guys. And right here is my kitty cat. Um, well, this is actually the ghost of my very first cat that died. This this cat is known as Ebony. But when we did our, mi our mi migration to 1.7, this cat suddenly arrived. And this is the ghost of Ebony right here. And this right over here, guys, is my bedroom. We've got my fireplace. We've got my books. We've got my bed. And we also have an epic view of Mole City and of the farmlands over here from my bedroom, which is really really awesome and the sun is going down so we might as well have a sleep to continue on this world tour and uh, man uh, we still have a butt ton to see which is awesome um, and speaking of awesome caffeine straight to the veins oh man mm. right you, you guys might hear the moaning of zombies and scalar butts going on right now and that is coming from our mob spawner which is exactly what I'm gonna show you now but on the way there guys please say hello a huge hello to Paloma the kitty cat and uh, this is currently the the, the cat of m the mole hole of mole city whenever I'm working at night Paloma joins me to keep creepers away from me and uh, she's an absolutely beautiful cat named after one of my real-life cats actually but guys I want to show you now my gravity mob trap spawner this is more commonly known as the butthole and what we do <laughs> over here is we grind mobs for XP and for items and uh, this is basically a gravity mob trap. So up above this chute is a whole bunch of spawning pads in complete darkness that spawn mobs and then the mobs drop down into this area over here where I collect their XP balls. And then when I click this lever, uh, it opens up the, the floor to drop their items down into this cavity over here. And when I flick uh, this lever over here, uh, water flushes down into this cavity to push all of the, the items that I, that I gather from my mob trap into this collection area over here. And this is, this is the butthole, guys. This is where I grind XP. This is where I grind gunpowder when I need TNT. And, uh, and I grind string also when I need string. And uh, yeah, this is my mob spawner, man. And it is absolutely epic, man. I freaking love this thing. And I have I have done a butt ton of butthole grinding. Let me let, let me tell you people. Let, let, let me tell you people. <laughs> There's been a lot of grinding going on in that mob spawner. And uh, speaking of grinding, let's move on to the next part of this world tour, guys. And this is one of the most important parts of uh, Rentopia. This is a monument dedicated to all of my subscribers, to everybody who has watched my YouTube videos for the last two years or two and a half years. 
This is a giant monument known as the Dogolith. And since its construction, I have been adding YouTube subscribers' names to the walls of the Dogolith. And this monument is going to extend all the way into the sky, as high as it can go. And as the seasons progress, we add new floors to the Dogolith. All of these floors are full of YouTube subscribers, full of cyber dogs that go all the way up to the top. And you know, I don't, I don't think the series is ever going to end. And we're just going to be adding more and more cyber dogs uh, and YouTube subscribers to this Dogolith. And it is absolutely freaking epic. I love this thing. Um, and below the Dogolith is the Dogolith courtyard. And here we have. Uh, what, what I call quest pillars. And this is where, when I have ideas that I want to do around my Minecraft world, this is where I come and put them. These are our quest pillars that, that hold all of the, uh, the ideas that we have in the series, everything that we want to build in the series. And uh, man, the Dogolith is freaking so sweet. And uh, every now and then I come here and I add sort of eight new uh, cyber dogs and YouTube subscribers to the Dogolith. And that sits on top of the roof of uh, the, of the molehole uh, castle, and that basically brings us to the end of this part of the tour. That is the end of uh, the molehole castle tour. There's only one more thing for me to show you in the castle itself, and that is Grand Molehole Station. And this is basically our railway station that takes us to all the other parts of our world that are away from the molehole and away from Mole City. We've got lines running to the Lakeside Villa, to the Strip Mine Outpost to Dogtown and then we have three other lines that we are going to be using as we find and build more more places in our Minecraft world. Um, but before we buy a ticket and hop onto one of these trains, guys, I want to take you to another rather ominous part of my Minecraft world. And this place is known as the Graveyard. This is where I commemorate all of my noob deaths that happen in my Minecraft series. And on the way there, guys, I want to I want to I want to introduce you guys to Pogo the Sheep, who has literally been jumping up and down for 250 Minecraft episodes and he's not tired yet. <laughs> I don't know I don't know how much coffee that sheep has drunk but damn son he has been jumping up and down for a, a ridiculous amount of time. But guys, speaking of ridiculous, here, here is the graveyard of Rentopia and uh, the graveyard is separated into the seasons that I'm playing and <laughs> this is basically the graveyard for season one and you can see uh, these graves commemorate when I died in a noob like lava uh, while I was hunting for bling uh, when I was killed by an, like like a noob by an enderman um, <laughs> when I died placing ladders when um, <laughs> hero Brian destroyed my the, the mole hole in episode 69 when I fell to my death when I was building that giant ball of lava over there and then if we move on to season two over here guys this is the second season's graveyard we can can see I, I, I died again fighting an enderman, I died building Mole City, I died in, uh, or this is where our cat died in water, this is where Batty, the bat that sometimes follows us on adventures, was killed by me or by a fang, this is when I died on peaceful mode, yeah, that was, that, <laughs> that, that was a time I'd rather forget, uh, this is where I died in the nether, and uh, this guys is the graveyard for season 3, we still actually have a few more graves to add here, um, this is where one of our dogs died in the nether, in the nether portal temple, this is, this is, <laughs> this is when I I died hunting for urn and uh, this is when I died on new beach which is a place you guys are going to be seeing a little bit later in this tour but this guys is the graveyard that I use to commemorate all of my deaths uh, that occur in this Minecraft series and it's just a you know it's just a, a reminder to me actually I like coming back to the graveyard every now and then and having a look at the gravestones because it reminds me of the of the times uh, you know it reminds me of those times that I that I can remember in Minecraft and it, it just brings me back to the, you know the different seasons and the different things that happened uh, in the seasons and it's just it's just freaking sweet man uh, I, I like commemorating uh, those moments it also reminds me of what a freaking noob I am in this game uh, and, and it inspires me to always try and get better at Minecraft <laughs> but guys it is now time to leave uh, the mole hole and to leave mole city and to leave the castle and to journey to different places around our Minecraft world and the very first place we are going to be going is to an NPC village known as Dogtown and this was one of the very first NPC villages that we found and in fact was the village that we got our blacksmith from so guys I tell you what I'm a we've taken the, the fast track lane over here this is known as the Great Railway Line and this train is going to kick into fast forward mode and get our bottles over to Dogtown in pronto time. So guys, I will see 
on the other side of this fast forward kaplui kaplow Sometimes when you're traveling on a train, you can get hijacked by bandits, and sometimes you can get hijacked by bovine. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened to us on our journey to Dongtan, but guys, as you can see, this railway line from Grand Mohol Station takes us all the way out into the desert to this town over here that is known as Dogtown. And if we go inside, we can see that it is a very dry, very stark NPC village over here. But it is an important village because in this village are a whole bunch of NPCs that we can trade with. And uh, we are going to be doing a bunch of trading with these guys uh, in the future. Um, and as you can see, there are loads of iron golems to protect this place. And uh, this was the place where we started season two of this Let's Play Minecraft series. And what we needed to do was build a wall all the way around this NPC village to protect all of these freaking NPCs which as which you can see are running around like absolute idiots and uh, a ton of them have a whole bunch of really good trades and in fact Griswold uh, the Griswold, the, the, the blacksmith who we stole from this village, can actually trade um, ender, uh, uh, eyes of the ender for emeralds, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so this village is very important to preserve because when we actually start trading, when we find loads of emeralds and, and find ways to actually trade with villagers in this Minecraft series, we're going to be spending a lot of time back and forth between uh, the Mol between Mole City and the Dogtown, trading between the two places. But guys, that is Dogtown. Uh, it is very, very awesome. One of the very first NPC villages that I found very close to my heart. And uh, I spent a lot of time building uh, a wall around that village to protect it from invasion. And it's just, you know, it's freaking sweet, man. But guys, let's head back to Grand Mole Hall Station to continue on our tour away from the Mole Hall and away from Mole City. The next stop on our tour is something known as the strip mine outpost. I'll see you guys on the other side of this kaplui. Kaplui. All right, my friends, we have arrived back in Grand Mohol Station to change lines. Now we're going to be getting on to the strip mine outpost line, taking us to one of the very first large structures that we built in this Minecraft series. And basically what this structure was, was a building to commemorate the strip mines that we constructed deep underground. When I first decided to start building the mole hole, I obviously needed a ridiculous amount of cobblestone to get it done. And to do that, I needed to start strip mining. So what I did was I ventured far away from where I was building the mole hole to a place where I could dig really deep and then start strip mining. And this right over here, guys, is known as the Great Bridge, which is one of the very first aesthetic builds that we did in this world. And basically, it's a bridge that takes us across this tundra to this place over here, which is known as the Strip Mine Outpost. And essentially what the strip mine outpost does <laughs> is glitch us through the the, the floor but um this is this basically the strip mine outpost station over here let's just pick up this this mine cart and what we have over here is four passages that lead all the way down to the bottom of minecraft and at the bottom of these passages we have strip mines and for those of you guys who don't know what a strip mine is it's literally just using a pickaxe to dig straight in a very long direction in a sort of grid pattern and that way you can collect a whole bunch of cobblestone and collect a whole bunch of items that you find over there also now we don't really come to the strip mine any more because we don't really need that much material anymore and we're using a whole bunch of other material too but it's still a really cool build what we have over here guys is nuclear reactors that power the strip mine we've got four of them over here and we can actually climb up to the top uh, of the strip mine outpost too to give us a, a pretty decent view um, of the great bridge over there and we can just barely see the lakeside villa and we can see the sort of outskirts of mole city over there now there is a problem with the strip mine outpost and the problem with the strip mine outpost is that it is not symmetrical i <laughs> it was one of my first major crafting fails in fact um, in this series and it was 
the, 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 the asymmetry was so vast that I actually couldn't fix it. And uh, it, it remains a, a sore spot for me because uh, I really like symmetry in Minecraft, right? And unfortunately, I failed to keep this thing symmetrical. You, you guys might see that the roofs are slightly different on the towers. And, the, you know, there's, I don't know, it just, I kind of... Oh man, I tried really, really hard to make this thing symmetrical, but it just it just ended up failing in the end. And um, a lot of cyber dogs, uh, a lot of older cyber dogs, and, and a lot of you guys have been watching my videos for a long time have suggested that maybe we should blow it up and just get rid of it. And you know that 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 that's something that I might uh, I might do in the future. But guys, next up on our tour of Rentopia is I actually have a list here, by the way, because <laughs> we have so much stuff to see. But uh, the next place we are going, guys, is known as the Lakeside Villa. And basically what the Lakeside Villa is, is a holiday resort that I built uh, quite many episodes ago and still remains unfinished. But it was a holiday resort that I wanted to go to uh, when I wanted some time off. Um, and it, it's, it's supposed to be a sort of luxurious place to, st to stay. And this over here, guys, is known as the Lakeside Villa, inspired by Roman design. And uh, this over here is known as the Lakeside Villa Harbour. And this is also the station where we sort of stop in uh, when we come to the Lakeside Villa. And here you can see, guys, we have a, a little harbour over here. When we come um, on, when we go on boating expeditions, we can come back in here. We can park our boat over here then hop over to get into the railway station over here, guys. But, but this, yeah, this is the Lakeside Villa Harbour. And what I want to show you guys now is the Lakeside Villa itself. We still have yet to build a passageway from the Lakeside Villa Harbour up into the Lakeside Villa. The Lakeside Villa is basically a project that has remained unfinished for a very long time. Um, for many, many, many episodes, in fact. It is the great unfinished project of my Minecraft world. It is, you know, it is slowly but surely getting there um, i still have a lot of work to do around this place but as you can see the basic design is over here we have a miniature life tree over here growing up the middle of the lakeside villa that emulates the the life tree that is growing in the center of the mole hole and uh, what we've got over here is a sort of kitchen area over here looking over a lake and this lake is basically what inspired the build um, because what I wanted to do was build this sort of holiday resort looking over this epic lake over here and, and here is my lakeside villa bedroom that has a great view of Mole City and um, we can also go all the way up to the top uh, via this staircase over here um, and this takes us to the to the roof of the lakeside villa uh, and up here what I want to do is, is have like a bar area it's like an entertainment area up here but we still have quite a lot of work to do on the lakeside villa but as you can see guys it is pretty sweet it is the great unfinished project of my minecraft world and it's a project that I really do want to get done as soon as humanly possible um, but uh, <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take me to finish it. But uh, we, we, we'll get there in the end. We'll get there in the end. All right, guys. Well, let's hop back onto the Great Railway Line to take ourselves back to Grand Mole Hall Station. We've only got a few more stops left in this grand world tour of Rentopia. Can't freaking believe it, man. But we are now going to a place that is very far away. That was the, the beginning, the very first project of Season 3 and one of the most epic and the most uh, ambitious projects of my Minecraft world to date. And that is a place known as Silkworm Gang Island. And it is an island dedicated to the Silkworm Gang, which was the gang that I was the leader of when I was at school. So we're going to be taking a look at that next uh, on this world tour, guys. But before we do that, I've got one more thing to show you in the mole hole, and that is, of course, this giant tree that you guys might have seen growing up the center of my castle. And this tree is known as the Life Tree. At the top of this tree is a giant ball of lava. And the original idea for this ball of lava was so that when I went on adventures away from the mole hole, I could see the ball of lava in the distance. It was basically like a beacon to get back home. And uh, basically, uh, you know, it is a giant ball of lava. I, I encased lava inside of glass. And as you can see, it is pretty awesome. But more importantly, we get a really sweet view of Rentopia over here. We get an awesome view of the graveyard, an awesome view of the nether portal over there, the nether portal temple, a great view of Mole City from up here, and a view of the farmlands from up here too. And you know, this is quite a... I don't know, it's just, it's just a really relaxing place. I come here sometimes just to chill, just to think about like what I'm going to do next in the Minecraft world. You know, when I'm trying to come up with ideas for the series, I usually go up there and just hang out up there. 
looking over all that I've built and it, it, it provides quite a lot of inspiration for me uh, and it's one of the very first major projects that we built also you, you guys that have been with me since the beginning uh, will rec you know will remember the life tree fondly I'm sure but guys we only have uh, one more place now to head to and now, and this is a place that I've just that I mentioned earlier called uh, Silkworm Gang Island and I'm going to talk a little bit more about Silkworm Gang Island uh, once we start the journey there what I'm going to do is take the secret passageway underneath the mole hole to the stables and we are going to be getting on a tray you the horse and taking a journey all the way to Silkworm Gang Island a tray you ride my friend ride R ride like you've never ridden before Right guys, so Silkwim Gang Island. What is Silkwim Gang Island? Well, Silkwim Gang Island is a build inspired by a story that I told at the end of season one. And essentially, uh, for those of you guys who are new to the channel, I was the leader of a gang at my school and that gang was called the Silkwim Gang. And uh, we had uh, an arch enemy rival gang called the Space Gang. And what I decided to do was to build uh, a fort in my Minecraft world that was dedicated to my old Silkum gang that I had at school. And uh, we had a fort um, at school that was built on top of a tree or built underneath a tree. So what I've done um, in this design of the Silkum gang island uh, is use a tree as the main fort area of my gang. Oh no, oh, oh goodness. Um, and that is, that is what Silkum gang fort is all about guys i've actually brought a lead because i knew that this might happen atrey you get your butthole out of that water there we go <laughs> um right let's just get my bearings okay awesome and uh this this island was we found this island uh when we were returning from a long journey once and what i decided to do and from the suggestions that were made by tons of cyberdogs was to actually start three, season three on this island and to build uh, a, a, a fortress dedicated to my old gang at school and right over here guys you can see coming up in the distance is what is known as silkworm gang island and there is also a freaking leprechaun up in here and right over there, guys, is you can see the, the very beginnings of what is becoming Silkworm Gang Railway Station. And up there is the Silkworm Gang Fort itself. Now, the idea was to come onto this island without any materials, to start Season 3 completely fresh, to, to have none of these weapons, no terror, no paw, no fang, no Rambo, no leggings of the dog, uh, no armor set of the dog, and to only use materials that we got from Silkworm Gang Island to craft the, the stuff that we wanted on Silkum Gang Island. So that is exactly what we have been doing for the very first part of Season 3. And we're going to be finishing Season 3, uh, finishing off Silkum Gang Island also. And what we have down here, guys, is an underwater tunnel, which was one of the very first uh, projects that I did in Season 3. And this underwater tunnel uh, was built underwater, <laughs> as the name suggests. And if we could actually get the this horse down here oh man atreyu is so fat you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave atreyu here for now atreyu dude you are way too fat for this man i i need to i need to put you i don't know can i can i can i put you on a tree no all right well you're just gonna have to stay here all right you you hang out over here um, because he actually can't get into the underwater tunnel. But this underwater tunnel, guys, was one of the very first projects that I did in Season 3. And as you can see, it has turned out absolutely awesome. I wanted to build a tunnel running under the water. And basically, this tunnel is the railway line connection between Silkum Gang Island and the mainland. And we're going to be running a railway line uh, all the way from Silkum Gang Island all the way back to Grand Mole Hall Station. And that railway line is going to be running underneath this tunnel. And... Uh, uh, you know th through this tunnel we can see into the ocean we can see squids we can see sea sand and it's just absolutely awesome and uh, when we come out of this tunnel the railway line is going to be running all the way up here all the way up and eventually it's going to connect over here and uh, this tunnel is going to take us all the way back up to the top of Silkworm Gang railway station and uh, for now we don't have any powered rails here we don't have anything powering uh, the, the station at all this is all still work in progress this is a huge huge project that we started in season three and that we're going to be ending in season three so if you guys have joined us from somewhere on the interbubs hit that subscribe button man because we have got so much awesome crafting coming up in this season but as you can see guys up here we have another kitty protecting uh what is essentially 
the foundations for the railway station and the way that this railway station works is that when we press this button we're, we're actually going to ramp off this cliff over here and fall all the way down and then connect to the to the the main railway line which is going to take us all the way back to grand molehill station and there is going to be a platform that is going to take us into what is the silkworm gang fort so let's move on to the next part of our tour and the very final part of our tour too which is silkworm gang island and this is where we started season three right on top of this island uh, silkworm gang island over here guys we have a whole bunch of food growing over here remember when we work on this island we leave all of our tools behind we come here naked basically with no items no food no nothing so this island needs to sustain us when we're working on it and we started um, <laughs> we started our time on silkworm gang island uh, basically down here in a in in what is essentially is a mole hole uh, or a second mole hole uh, <laughs> uh, over here we dug out a little section over here uh, where we spent the very first the very first part of this season uh whew, man that was close and right over here guys is a place known as new beach and this is where I, one of the first places that i died there is my grave over there one of the first places that i died in season three uh but let's head back up into the silkum gang island fort itself guys so that you can see all of the epic freaking construction work that i've done up there I tell you what i'm gonna get our buttholes back up there and i'll see you on the other side of this kaplam where we will be ending our grand world tour kaplam all right, everybody, welcome back to the final leg of this grand world tour of my Minecraft survival world. And we are staring up into the canopies of what is known as Silkworm Gang Island Fort. Now, the idea behind this construction was to build a fort in the, the canopies of these jungle trees as this island over here... This Silkum Gang Island is in fact a jungle biome island and the idea was to build all of our buildings on top of the canopies of the trees and that's exactly what we've done over here guys. And uh, what I've got over here is what is known as a Goxy drop. This is basically a water drop uh, inspired by my brother from the same freaking mama, the real Gox. And essentially it is a quick way to get down from the tree canopies from up there that you guys will see in a second. And what we've got spiraling around this giant jungle tree over here is the the staircase that actually takes us up into the 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 fort that we have created at the top of this sweet ass canopy so let's get all the way up to the top of silkum gang island fort it's actually been quite a long time since we've been here so it's really nice to be back man uh to have a look at what we actually worked on at the beginning of season three and as you can see guys uh this is the very first floor of the fort it has an excellent view of the underwater tunnel over there um and it has a bridge over here that's going to take us to a second the top of a second uh jungle tree canopy over here where we're going to be building the, the 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 last remaining rooms of the fort and from this position you can see the different rooms that are in the fort uh, over there and let's just get ourselves over to the the areas that we have crafted so far and um if we come into here there's some more kitties this is the current bedroom of the silkum gang island fort and this over here is uh one of one of the the things that i love most about the fort is this roof that is in, in it, that ha was inspired by my favorite minecrafter ether and uh, this is the design that he uses in his minecraft world having leaves and having uh staircases around the the edges of them so um, a lot of the design of this fort was inspired by, by Etho. But as you can see, guys, the Silkum Gang Island Fort still has a butt ton of work to do. And remember, we're only allowed to use materials that we have found in this island to craft this place. And over there, you can see, is where we're going to have another room over there. We're going to have another room on top of that canopy over there. And we've got another room over here, which gives us an amazing view of the island below. And that, guys, is essentially Silkworm Gang Island Fort uh, and Silkum Gang Island itself the place where we kicked off season three uh, and it has such an awesome view of the underwater tunnel down there man so freaking so sweet well everybody i can't believe it but we've actually come to the end of this grand tour of my minecraft survival world we have seen everything from farmlands to freaking mushroom shrines to witches caves to npc villages to lakeside villas to freaking awesome ass gang forts on islands and man it has been an absolute 
absolutely epic trip down memory lane for me and I hope you older subscribers enjoyed that look back at some of the places that we actually haven't seen in a very long time and if you are new to the Rendog channel and new to the series I really hope you enjoyed that world tour you have a great idea now of what we have in our Minecraft world what we are currently working on and what is coming up in the future and if you did enjoy it and you think that this is a series you could enjoy you hit that freaking subscribe button and tell all your friends your Minecraft playing friends about the series also we have got so much epic work still coming up in season three and we have season four season five season infinity to come and we're going to be carrying on playing this series until Minecraft is no longer a thing <laughs> but guys this has been Remdog playing Minecraft survival on a grand world tour of my survival world really hope you guys have enjoyed it and if you have you hit that like button and uh, I cannot freaking wait to see you in the next episode where we're going to continue on uh, the amazing projects that we have got on the agenda for season three of this let's play Minecraft survival series guys this has been Remdog Dog, your tour guide for episode 50. Cannot wait to see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.